Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today, I want to talk to you about faith, namely faith in your prayer life. Now, a lot of times we come to God and we ask God for these mundane things and to take care of us at night or take thank you for the food, but we really don't get intimate with God. We really don't talk with God. And what he desires of us is to really ask him of those things. And he's going to work it in our life to take care of us because he is our heavenly father. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 21 the, Matthew says this, and is writing the words of Jesus. So Jesus is saying this. I tell you the truth, that if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what is done in this fig tree, but it also you can say a mountain to a mountain. Go throw yourself in the sea and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. So those things that you're asking God for, or you really need God to answer, financial issues, relational issues, sickness, disease, healing, broken relationships, those family members that are uh, need to be saved, whatever it is that you need in life, ask God for. He is our heavenly father. He cares so much for you that he sent his son, Jesus, into the world to go to the Roman criminal's cross to suffer and die at the hands of Romans for you and for me. That he who knew no sin became sin for us on the cross, that we can become the righteousness of God, that we are set free from our sins by his blood, that Jesus loves you so much. He willingly, with joy, went to the cross. So I encourage you today, those things that you're in need for, those things that you need God to answer in your life, I encourage you right now just to pray, to ask God for those things in life, whatever it is, Ask him, believe that he will do those things. And by faith, rest in the assurance that Jesus is taking care of those things, that he loves us so much so he died on the cross for us. In John 3, 16, the Bible tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Our God not only loves us from that passage, but he's also a giver. He loves you so much that he wants to give in your life. He gave us his son, the ultimate gift, the ultimate miracle, the ultimate thing of answered prayer that we can receive, Jesus. But he also says for us, whatever we ask for in prayer, believe as we have all received it, and it is ours. It is ours. Now those things we don't need to ask for self in selfishness. You know, God may not give me that, you know, that supercar Ferrari that I want or Porsche, because he knows that I'm not going to be able to handle it. I'm not going to be able to handle the tax bill or the insurance for it. But God does want to give you the very best in life to take care of you. That I firmly believe. So what is it you're asking God for? It is my prayer that you'll take it to him and receive from him those answers that you need in life. Amen.